here's how to get a job. What you want to do, you're going to go in there, right? You're going to look the guy in the eye, or a woman, of course, mm-hmm. or, or he, she, or they. You're going to look at them in the eye. You're going to wink once. You're going to wink twice. And you're going to double blink. Lift that's the how you know, up. that's how they get to know. And you lift the cheek up? That you're sane. What? And you lift your cheek up? Oh, let me get this. <laughs> let me get this. All right. All right. All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Plain Brain Cup brought to you by Pirate Water P Dubs. We got five delicious flavors now. Shout out. What is our new flavor? We're in Boston. Wicked tea, Brianna. Wicked tea. And what's different about this one, G? This one's here. not carbonated. So no bubbies. No bubbies. No bubbies. No bubble and doubles. So if you have a little, maybe, I don't know. Sometimes bubbles make people give a hot burn, mm-hmm. a lot of burping. Not going to happen not with this. Wicked Tea. Not going to happen with Wicked Tea. Uh, it's 10% ABV tall can, malt and malt beverage. It comes in five delicious flavors, but you got to check out the new flavor, uh, Wicked Tea. It's personally my favorite. I'm not really too much of a bubbles girl, so make sure to check it out. You can get it at drinkpiratewater.com. You can order it now on GoPuff, Circle K, Walmart, wherever it is. Uh, make sure that you're there trying to find it. And tag us in at Drink Pirate Water. We, we like post it every time. We want to see you guys drinking um, the Wicked Tea. Yeah. I got to see that Wicked Tea in your hand, eh? Mm-hmm. Especially you Bostonians. Get on it. Keep it right. Keep it tight. Let's get into the episode. What's up, my generous? Welcome back to another episode of Playing Brian Cut. If you're like, where the fuck are you? Yup, we're wondering the same thing pretty much. <laughs> we are um, outside of the garden. Yep, we're at Big Big Studios, Big Night Studios, Big Night Studios, Big Night Studios. And there's actually, a, we'll insert a video. There's a glass wall behind us, and it's just people walking in and out. Mm-hmm. And I feel like we're live news reporting. It's Boston uh, Marathon Monday. It is Marathon Monday, so it seems like we have something to say about that. Which is, uh, yeah, no, it looks like we're reporting live, but we are not because that's on the other side of Boston. Yeah, we which did, is. We did just see one guy who ran the oh. marathon, and he walked all the way to this side of Boston. He could. Couldn't even keep his body up straight. And we were trying to clap for him. Then we looked to the left and we saw all the people that got drunk for Marathon Monday, mm. which I'm kind of sad we didn't participate in that. I know. I know. It was I just, it's not the week. Yeah. Um, there was a lot of people doing a lot of cartwheels outside. <laughs> yeah. There was just one kid who was just doing massive cartwheels. <laughs> and then all of his boys went the other way and he cartwheeled the other way to his boys. Yeah. And he had such tight jeans on. He had two uh, buckets of chaw in his back pocket. Uh huh. Yeah, th- we call them lucky ducks. Yeah. <laughs> lucky ducks. I, I, I don't know. I don't think we're really feeling like lucky ducks this week. No, not really. Um, <laughs> a lot of, a lot of bummer, bummer stuff going on. Yeah. Um, a bummer. Bummer. Another bummer week. Another for bummer week for B and G. What the <laughs> hell is that? The podcast episode title this week again. <laughs> bummer. Another bummer week. <laughs> bummer week part two, man. Uh, uh, I have autism. I cannot concentrate on no. this one. I just can people watch. It's pretty cool. I know. I like it. So, well, it doesn't really help for you guys because <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. I only I took a half an hour all. Oh, I took wow. the fully. Huh? Yeah, I just picked G up uh, and yeah, we we drove an hour. If I think about it, I we haven't been in a car together in a while dude i know except for those rentals yeah love a rental car I love a rental car absolutely oh uh, we're pulling into the uh garage earlier you telling all yourself yeah i have to i hit a pole she hit a pole and we looked at each other. i go she hits a pole pretty decently hard i go damn she goes not that bad <laughs> I just got out of the car and I looked at him and I said, told you, not that bad. And it wasn't. It wasn't that bad, but it was a damn. <laughs> Nothing like you just spit on your hand and wipe it off. Yeah. It's a little like little, uh, little black shoppy. Yeah. Nothing that can <laughs> no fix. Problem. So that's where we're at this morning. Uh, picked you up. We got a good car ride going and mm-hmm. we kept saying, wow, damn, we've got nothing. Because we just, uh, we had ourselves a weekend. Yeah. Um, we came home for your grandmother's services. Yes. Which were beautiful. They were on Friday and Saturday. Yes. And uh, that just kind of turned into a whirlwind of emotions. Yeah, there's a lot going on. Um, you know, hills and valleys. Yeah. A lot of people are saying that. Hills and valleys. I heard a lot of people say that yesterday and today. Yeah. Multiple. Wow. Um, we're talking to the same people. Uh, I'm sure of it. I'm sure I guess of it. We got the same. You know the crowd. people I know are actually the people you also know. Yeah, we know the same guys. <laughs> yeah, oh, and then a lot of them are tweakers. <laughs> oh, we realize everyone at home's tweaking so hard. <laughs> <laughs> There's something going on. There's something in the air in Boston. I think it's like the. It's really warm out. Fresh air is coming, yeah. and everyone's tweaking. Like you just walk down the street, and everyone just ah. We're driving <laughs> on the highway, cars are just like whoa, whoa. <laughs> like the one guy on a motorcycle. Ah, we're just ex- we're just telling you what we saw on the way here. We've got nothing, you guys. Well, that's what we were saying when we came. We were like, ah, oh, man. We even tried last night to come up with stuff. Nothing. We're just in a bummer uh, situation. We have to both go back to New York today. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um. I, I haven't been on my phone all week, Mm-mm, you know, so when it comes to the news, I got nothing. Ah, oh, dude. I was actually watching the real news. Yeah. I got nothing. You know what? <laughs> I got something that what? I'm really upset about, honestly. 
I was supposed to go. All right, guys, this weekend was my big Caitlin Clark weekend. Oh, yeah. It was my big. Uh, I was supposed to be home yesterday or something mm-hmm. and chill with Kate, my girl, Caitlin Clark. And um, tonight she's having a Caitlin Clark after party for the draft. Wow. I think I might make it. You gonna? I think I might try to make it. But, dude, that's my girl. That's my idol. That's my Rihanna. Shit. That's Everyone ridiculous. loves Rihanna. <laughs> dude, <laughs> no, that's, that's really cool. No, that's my Rihanna. So I'm like, <laughs> dude, wow, wow. That's your right. Rihanna? <laughs> yeah, for real. You don't fuck with Caitlyn Clark like that? No, I'm just saying, like, usually, like, that's, like, my Alex Earl. That's my Taylor Swift. That's my Rihanna? Yeah. All right. I like Rihanna. All right. <laughs> I fuck with Rihanna pretty heavy. She's fine with it. I actually, on my car ride here, I'm fine with it. Uh, no, she's fine with it. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, she's fine. Oh, she's good to look at. Yeah. What's up, buddy? Good to listen to. What's up, buddy? Sir? Uh, but uh, <laughs> on my car ride here, I went down the Rihanna's catalog of music, and I said, wow, queen. But then I said, wow, Caitlin Clark's my Rihanna. Mm. So um, I got to make it back to the city tonight to go chill with Caitlin Clark in my sweats. I smell like shit. Haven't showered in two days. That's adorable. Uh, <laughs> I think we're on the same page. We're pretty just gross. You yeah, got your no. briefcase full of makeup. Yep, I put on plenty of it. Shout out base. We have the same makeup bag. I, yeah, shout out base. Not even an ad. Just nope. a good makeup bag, you know? Good makeup bag. Um, we yeah. do have a prep sheet for today because uh, we, we're not we're not too keen on it yeah. today. We have so. uh, crazy shit in the news. We got also a lot of guests possibly coming up soon. Yeah, what do you mean possibly? <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't know if you're going home tomorrow. Tonight. I'm going home tomorrow. Grace is going home tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah final decision yeah. it's made. one thing after another i know family. dude the cookie is crumbling it's like when it rains to the it last pours. drop when it rains it fucking pours yeah. shout out luke holmes shout out luke holmes shout out luke holmes <laughs> <sighs> this guy's on scooters yeah. <laughs> all right all right want to go and get, yeah, get into those unfortunately i got absolutely jack shit for y'all ah Dude, shout out, number one headline, pretty fucking epic. She made it on before we did. Caitlin Clark showed up to Saturday Night Live for the weekend update. Did you see this? Oh, no. Yes, she was on Saturday Night Live with um, Ryan Gosling was the celebrity guest this weekend. Oh, no shit. Yeah, so um, it was sick. She was on it. Caitlin's, so he said, Michael, shout out Michael, you make a lot of jokes about women's sports, don't you, Michael? Oh, she said that. Caitlin's joke. The Indiana Fever was the first pick in Monday's draft. I rem- I'm reminded that the Indiana Fever is a uh, WNBA team and not what Michael Shea gave to dozens of women at Purdue University. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's good. Dude, I can't imagine how, like, honestly, for her, her whole life has just been basketball. Mm. And now she's, like, thrown into the brunt of interviews, like, going on all of this shit. And she just, Saturday Night Live. Imagine how scary that That's is. That's classic. Like, how crazy that must feel. That's, I mean, you're on top of the world. You did just have a bummer loss. Yeah. That's stinky. That's stinky ass. But she's but. number one draft pick in WNBA, which is not too shabby. Not pretty much of a loss anymore. <laughs> yeah, no, it's pretty much on top of the world. <laughs> kind of a win. <laughs> that's, um, it, it's huge for her. And then she gets to do Ryan Gosling Saturday Night Live. Wow. Next to the Gossman? Dude, right next to the Gossman. Are you Ryan Gosling or a Reynolds? Um, neither here nor there. I knew you were going to say I that. I hate men. Uh, <laughs> you can't <laughs> pick men. one if you have to. Um, these, these guys seem like they'd be on Good Guy Island. Both of them. Yeah. I think I've always been a Ryan Reynolds girl. Nice. Because you like Blake Lively? Yeah. Oh. You have to see her in um, the town. Keep, keep that promise, that, that sweet little promise. I killed your husband promise movie. I saw her in the town. That's my type. Mm. Trashy. Trashy. <laughs> Trashy. Strung out. Uh-huh. <laughs> Tweaker, if you will. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Tweak yeah, I like it when she's a little rough around the edges. Oh, girl. Yeah. <laughs> Quick commercial break for NASCAR. Purchase tickets to tailgate with us in Talladega's famous North Park camping area. Tickets for the tailgate will also include general admission for the Geico 500, a Barstool Daga t-shirt, and access to a Saturday night concert featuring Walker Hayes, Brianna. Let's get this. Track facts. Talladega Super Speedway is known as NASCAR's biggest and baddest track, 2.5 miles long, where racing reaches 200 miles per hour with cars just inches apart. Star drivers Chase Elliott, Danny Hamlin, Ryan Blarney, Ross Chaston, and Bubba Wallace. I like to say Bubba Wallace. All right, so make sure to catch NASCAR full speed on Netflix so you can watch your favorite drivers before they take on Talladega Super Speedway. Purchase your tickets now. To experience a Barstool's tailgate at Talladega Super Speedway with us. Mm-hmm. All right. You want right. to hit the next headline? All right. Coachella Week in One. We got Sabri- Sabrina Carpenter waves to Barry Co- Kogan. Kogan? Keegan, I say, but I know that's not right. That's Kelly Keegan. Kogan. Kogan. 
What's up, buddy? Kogan, uh, during her set, which made him giggle and kick his little feet. <laughs> Did you see him giggling and kicking his little feet? No. Dude, it's so funny. And he's in the funniest, most fucking oh, British he's, outfit ever. He's in. Um, he's Irish, for fuck's sake. I know, but it's he's full British outfit, dude. <laughs> it's it, it's it, just. He's got the. It's like Burberry shorts. I I don't know what brand it is, but. And then the same Burberry matching headband, a white beater. And he's watching his little girl go. He's filming her going, ah. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Dude, I want to know how those two, like, met, how they got set up. I know. Crazy. Well, I, mean, I think she saw the movie, and she saw she liked what she saw. You, you think know? he slid in or she slid in? I think, um, you know what? I'm going to put it to him. He said, eeny, meeny, miny, Sabrina. And he's a shorty, so she's wicked tiny. Is she wicked tiny? The tiniest. Even when she wears platforms this big, Taylor Swift, like, towers over her. Really? She's teensy tiny, so it's perfect oh, for him. Did you see that... Um, I don't know if it was her merch or somebody passed her a t-shirt while she was at Coachella. Mm -hmm. And it said, um, Jesus was a carpenter. That's sick. That's the best merch of all time. That's pretty sick. Jesus was a carpenter. Yeah, dude. That that's just, what a blue collar last name. Doesn't get more blue collar than that. Dude, <laughs> Sabrina Carpenter. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. She just wants to get her hands dirty. And dude, exactly. Dude, oh my gosh. Have you? Did you see the whole... Uh, I, for some reason in my head, you know how everyone famous goes to Coachella to watch? Yeah. In my head, they have their own private sections, yeah. but they're just in the VIP with everyone. Yeah. Like Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey were in, I just almost threw up. God bless in you. In the same, the same VIP section. Jake Shane's right there. Jake Shane's right there going, the, the Teresa, poor thing. Teresa. Ask for a picture. I know. Right there. Teresa, Teresa. I always want to say Judice. Caputo, but Judice, yep. uh, shout out um, her daughter, Gia, Why? because we met her. Um, let's get it. And I just can't believe that, that like Taylor Swift is in that same section with everyone. Don't you think she would be on the stage? Like, well, that, but don't you think she would have maximum security like somewhere else? Uh, yeah, you would I, assume. I just, I think that's the cool part about Coachella is that everybody's just having a little free for all. I know. Oh, you know what? She doesn't need maximum security anymore. Her boyfriend is humongo. Yeah. That's maximum security. He laid someone out. Yeah. He will lay someone out. They actually had a pretty cute video. Did you see it? No. He's like holding, I didn't see anything this holding her head and they're like watching and Ice Spice go, shout out Taylor Swift. Oh, that's awesome. And then it was just sick. I can't even only imagine um, Jake Shane shitting his pants. Oh my God. He's right there. Right there. His, his number one. And, and you know what? Good on him. Yeah. For keeping his cool and his composure. Well, he probably wanted to talk to her, but he would have died. Yeah. I think he would have died. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, Wow. I really want to set them up for like tea. You know, we could do that. And crumpet for him. Oh yes, we're the <laughs> middleman. Set him up. Absolutely. And Taylor, with girl Taylor, and friggin just call Taylor, Taylor up. Yeah, that's what they say. Dave's almost right there. Yeah, you've been saying that. Did you see what happened? What? Dave's Eras jacket's being held hostage. So, you see, it always it just takes one bad guy. Dude, that's what I said. It's this girl that's like, uh, Dave, I have the jacket, but I don't have tickets. I don't have tickets, so it looks like you're not getting the jacket back until I have tickets. Holding him hostage to buy her tickets. That's screwy. Yeah, bad girl island. That's bad girl island. And also, you know, I'd say <clears throat> both as a country and as a company, we do not <laughs> accept bribes. Nope. nope. This country does not accept bribes. There's no corruption. Nope. America, USA. USA. <laughs> I, I never feel more American like I do when I come back to Boston, though. I'm going to be serious. Is it American or racist? Uh, <laughs> there, is, <laughs> there is an American flag everywhere. Have you noticed that? Every fucking corner you turn, there's an American flag hanging. Mm, there is. I've never seen that before. Even down south, I'm like, I see a different flag. I fucking hate the south. <laughs> Can't wait to go to Talladega, though. Oh, my God, G. Wow. I can't believe that's a couple days. We're getting absolutely after it at NASCAR. I was um, I was really stoked to maybe, you know, take a couple days off from drinking. And uh, I guess I will yeah, until we have, Saturday. We have four or five days. Yeah. Four or five days till we're Talladega. That's Rihanna for you. Yep. That's my Caitlin Clark. Um, We are <laughs> living Penn State. In, in a trailer. <laughs> Yes. At Talladega. That'll be cool. It's going to be insane. It'll be interesting. It's going to be fun. Mm. This is our Coachella since we didn't get to go to Coachella. Oh, yes. NASCAR um, Talladega is our Coachella. Should we should we stump the hell off in outfits? Yeah. Coachella outfits at Talladega? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, wow. Yeah. What are you going to wear? Something sexy? Obviously. Oh, my God. Well, uh, we were saying that. Uh, 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 wow. We've been talking about Talladega for months. And it's, it's like finally, the only thing we have going and on. And it's finally happening. <laughs> it's finally happening. I'm actually really stoked about it. I want to go real fast. Yeah. Really, really fast. I'm so I hope, fidgeting with things. I hope they let us get in a car. Um, no way, right? Mm, <laughs> well, I, 
I probably will. Oh, I can be giving road dome. Too. Yeah, well, that was why. So. <laughs> that would be epic. Imagine giving road dome at two hundred miles per hour on the track. That's all I've ever wanted. I know. Yeah, you could get that. We started watching Talladega Nights. Is that what it's called? <laughs> Talladega Nights. <laughs> we watched that to get ready for it. Yeah, we're just them too. Yep. Except I would never fuck your wife. Ah, oh, I see. I That's fell asleep. That's the part. Yeah, I fell asleep. Yeah. I didn't really look. But it's going to be a blast. But it is going to be our Coachella. Uh, Coachella didn't seem like anything too insane happened. Billie Eilish did go in, did a pop-up set, and played a bunch of new songs. Did you see Lana Del Rey coming in in a motorcycle? That was yes. absolutely incredible. That makes me say USA for some reason, too. I saw that, and I was like, we were born to ride. Dude, she is just absolutely... She's like an angel. Yes. She looks like an angel. She... Oh, dude. She And I, I I showed my sister, and she goes, you just love her, don't you? I'm like, yeah. Is that a problem? Yeah, <laughs> I just why? really like Lana Del Rey a lot. Why she's is that my a, hero. Why is that a problem? She's, she's your Rihanna. She gives no fucks. Um, you know what's... Uh, crazy that i think about a lot we were shrooming so hard that we left lana del rey set to go see red hot chili peppers and it was the best thing we ever did in our lives and i didn't actually take it back for a damn thing not a damn thing but give wow. it away give it away give it away now oh uh, wow yeah that was insane that was insane we were just shrooming out and uh, i was like i can't i can't get into the hair brushing yeah she was just um, she sits a lot on stage yeah and you know it was put you know it was putting me into a dream state which is a nice thing but at the same time i, w- I wanted to get absolute rock and roll style and I mean, it was how else to do it, Red Hot Chili Peppers. We got to see them again before they die. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Going to Rainbow Kitten Surprise. I know. A couple weeks. I'm pretty pumped That'll about that. Oh, my gosh. That'll be good. Wow. Wow. So we got a lot of stuff coming up. Yeah, we got fun stuff. Yeah. Fun stuff. Going to the Netflix is a Joke Festival. In LA. That'll be awesome. I Are you going to go? Yeah. When is it? It's May 5th. Yeah. That's also Rainbow Kitten Surprise, isn't it? it w- yeah. It works out within the week. We're figuring out our schedule right now. <laughs> yeah. You guys, uh, you guys pencil us in? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. What's up, Bobby? Anything else crazy Sky happened? Bobby. Oh, I don't know. This is like kind of tea, but uh, since we're ta- well, since we're doing sheet stuff now that we're BFFs all of a sudden this week. Um, <laughs> we're going to have to be. Uh, Charlie, Sorry, Dave. Charlie it- D'Amelio was spotted with a... Um, face Banks. Was it though? Yes. Everyone's saying it is because of the sweatshirt. It was him. How old is Faze Banks though? Got to be thirty, maybe forty. Right? Yeah. Right, let's look up Faze Banks. Faze Banks. Age. How old is she at this point? That just time. doesn't seem Faze Banks age. I guess it doesn't matter how old is she. It matters to me. Forty-three. Thirty-two. Oh. She's eighteen. She's eighteen. Let me check. Let me double check. She's this. twenty. <laughs> is she? B. She's not twenty. Is she? She's twenty. She's 19. She's 20. She's 19. Might as well be 20. (laughs) She is about to be 20 May 1st. I knew it. (laughs) I know. I know. I know her birthday. 20 and 32, though. Age is but a number. Age is but a dream. Just let people do what they want. And it's it's all. I'm looking out for my girl, Cha. I know. I I know. Uh, So I, you know what? Creeps can be creeps, but sometimes it works out. I don't know. Slippery slope. Slippery slope, Rihanna. Not for me. Slippery slope. Not for me. I am just saying personally, Charlie, don't get your heart broken. You should be careful. You can get your heart broken. What the fuck? Sometimes you need to get your heart broken. She already did. We heard landed split. What the fuck? She's got to move on. (laughs) She's got to move on. All right. All right. I'm I'm proud of her. You think Heidi likes this guy phase? You think Mock likes this guy phase? Mm -mm. You think Dixie's in on phase? Not sure. Dixie ain't. Neither here nor there on face. <laughs> no day on face. Uh, that was the only. Imagine face coming to you Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah, he's got to be playing video games, right? What's he do? Phase up. Know. Yeah, phase up. Phase up. Yeah. <laughs> I will never forget the phase bank people going into Dave's face and saying phase up. Wow. And him saying, what does that mean? <laughs> That's phase up. specifically weird. <laughs> oh, it's legendary. I, and I think Dave just did it back. I'm saying phase up. <laughs> what are you talking about? Dude, speaking of Dave, I got to figure out how to get us. Because I want, I want it to come through me. Mm-hmm. I want to figure out how to get us to Nantucket this, this summer. I was thinking. Yeah? You think he's going to... Oh, he is going to spend the summer there. Yeah. He doesn't want to spend it with us. He doesn't want us near him this summer. He doesn't want us near him, period. One time. One time. With him or without him? Either way. I'd prefer if he were there, but... He doesn't want us near him. He doesn't want us near his summer peace... We could ask. Do you want to call him? Not particularly. <laughs> Not particularly. I thought some guy was breaking in. He's just chilling. <laughs> no, no, no. This bull, my boy's class. having a day. He's tweaking. He's tweaking for <laughs> sure. It's crazy to have people walking by tweaking zombie mode. Oh, this is absolutely legendary. Wow. 
All right, guys, quick commercial break. You know what actually we could totally do right now, Grace? It's Marathon Monday. I just found out that there was a Red Sox game right next to us. You know what we could get tickets on it for? Game time. Game time. Easy. It's yeah. lowest price guaranteed. Last minute tickets always. And it's not just it's sporting events, but it's also concerts, comedy. So you could get it for you and Whitney Cummings show for like 56 bucks right now. Yeah, 56 bucks In right New now. In New York City, you could get it right now. You want to go to the Red Sox game. You could get it right now. You want to go to any event. Game time is your person. It takes the guesswork out of it. It's super easy. There's flash deals for uh, sudden discounts, which is awesome because it's already lowest price guaranteed. Mm -hmm. So they have zone deals for when you're feeling flexible and their lowest price guarantee this is my favorite part this is like they really mean it all mm -hmm. right which uh means that if you find the same seats for less anywhere else game time will credit you not 100 percent 110 percent of the difference grace holy cow game yep. time and the game time app is the best place for last minute seats for up to 60 percent off your favorite events so what are you waiting for um we're gonna go probably get some red sox tickets right now on game time if we can make it to the game take the guesswork out of buying tickets with game time download the game time app create an uh, account and use code plan brief for 20 dollars off your first purchase terms apply download the game time app today last minute tickets lowest price guaranteed guaranteed so back to the show David Archuleta was spotted uh, okay. posting it's, everyone's okay. set and okay. updating TikTok on what was going on at Coachella. That's where he came. That's what he's come to. He was wow. just updating people live tweets of Coachella. Vote for David Archuleta. Vote for David Archuleta. <laughs> um, oh, this is a good... Everyone was kind of shitting on Coachella this year, and then it got... Including thrown. yourself. Well, I didn't want to go... All, I did not want to travel across the world for people I don't want to see their sets. There was no Fred again. <laughs> Like, actually. John Summit was there, though. John Summit. I didn't know that. Three hour. But Three hour DJ set. Three hour. But the headliners for me, only one I cared about was Lana Del Rey. Doja Cat, I'm not dying to fly across the world for her. And Tyler Crater, I don't know any of his songs. What about, uh, oh, you don't know No Doubt. That was a big headline last year, too. I don't, see? I'm going to no be Doubt's crazy. Great. I'm going to be crazy. Like, I have no idea who that is. It's Gwen Stefani's band. Oh, it's Gwen Stefani. Yeah. You, you already did this on BFFs. How do you not remember? I don't remember anything. I have short-term memory loss. I've come to the conclusion about that. What and it's actually that? terrifying. You, you do Wordle? No, I can't. That's fucking crazy. That's insane. I cannot do Wordle. What am I going to What am I gonna do that for? I can't even remember. As it turns out, everybody's doing Wordle. Yeah. Well, I'm on my own path. I can't do it. It's I play uh, Temple Run still. Nope. That's not good for your brain. Oh, dude. Wait, wait. This is a crazy story. What? So we're talking about um, like scars or whatever this weekend. And one of my sisters goes... Yeah, I've got a scar here from when Grace hit me with the shovel. It was an accident. I forgot about that. She was looking into the hole, and I went with the shovel, and we were digging a hole, and I, I bashed her. That was awful. It was my grandmother's birthday. What a tough birthday, huh? And then... Um, Keeps it interesting. She, she said, look at this right here. And I've never noticed it on her face ever. It's an indent. One line of an indent. I go, what was that? She goes, Maggie threw an iPod at me because she lost in Temple Run. <laughs> and it was wow. gushing blood and wow. my family said that's no on Nora's that's fine. face it's right? a face wound yeah i've seen that before i've never noticed that yeah she's got the same one as someone else um what's up bro <laughs> uh we got fans <laughs> <laughs> oh that's uh, hilarious yeah do you have any facial scars you never got hit in the face to make like, a mark not to leave not to leave a mark no i just got an indent on my head really yeah From what i want to fracture my skull busted it open oh that's right here Potter style it was super stucky yeah. It was a sticky situation, and I just wanted to go to you, Summer Jam after so bad. I got a dope bucket hat. It was tie-dye, <laughs> and I just I was dying. I had my whole outfit picked out. I was going to wear this dope bucket hat, a white tank, some shorts, and I was going to go to Summer Jam, Nicki Minaj headlining, Lil Wayne. Oh, my God. And then my mom wouldn't let me go because the doctor said uh, my head would explode. Did you? Was that glue, or did they... They, um, they glued it so that it wouldn't have a scar. The glue's crazy, huh? Yeah, it burns, too. Oh, Weird. Creepy. Uh, I think I'm going to go back to school and go to, into the medical field. Yeah. Well, I think it's time. <laughs> <laughs> I think they need someone like you in the medical field. They do. I have really someone good with a bedside opinion. manners. <laughs> someone, with a, someone with a different opinion. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody who's going to tell you, yeah, you know, maybe we're, maybe we're thinking too correctly. Yeah. You know when the people, <laughs> when they go into the doctor and they're like, I'm going to get a second opinion. They go, all right, we got someone for that. <laughs> yeah. and you come in. Yep. I'm here for the second opinion. For some reason, I'm in a wheelchair. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you always say the opposite of what the doctor yeah, says. Hey, listen, doc. <laughs> I don't think it's cancer at all. <laughs> What I think they need is a good night's sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, drink some water, drink some NyQuil, come back, play some Wordle. We're That's, all good. That sounds like a bad idea. Yeah, you should not go into the medical field. Nope. nope. Some people just aren't cut out for it. Nope. That's like, I'm like, just how I'm so cut out for the military mm -hmm. and nobody else is. You do have military pants on. Yeah, you can't see me. <laughs> can't see me. Yep. She got those Converse delivered to her door. Crazy, right? No, no crazy, actually. <laughs> These Converse delivered straight to her door. And guess what? They were, what, $30 cheaper than going to buy them in the store? Yeah, it was crazy. At New York's a crazy place. It was actually 50 
Sixty dollars cheaper, cheaper to get them delivered to your door. Yeah, Brianna said the other day. She goes, new cakes. I go, yeah, got them, got them, um, hand delivered. She goes, you mean like UPS? I'm like, nah, DoorDash. Same day. I got <laughs> Converse on DoorDash. Yeah, fifty dollars <laughs> cheaper. They were a hundred and ten dollars to get them delivered. Fifty five dollars to get them to my door in ten minutes. You think they're off Canal Street? Some fakes. It doesn't matter to me. They look stunting regardless. Yeah, they, you look stunning. Those are stunning. Thank you so much. No problem. Uh, Thank you so much. We got no clothes back home. We got no. We got nothing. We are just raw dog and life on the back of our backs. Should we walk around Boston after this? It's Marathon Monday. I mean, that does seem like a nice idea. It does, it does seem like a nice idea. We kind of got lost on our way in too. It was a little. It was a little terrifying. That looks like my auntie Trisha. Hey Trish. <laughs> Trish, come here. Trish, we need a. We need a second opinion. <laughs> Well, uh, this would have been a lot of fun if we had people just coming in and out. Holding signs? Yeah. Yeah. That'd be good. Too bad we don't. We got to use this studio more often. What's oh, up, Grace. This broke my heart. Wow. I don't know if you watched it. The Golden Bachelor. Oh. Remember we talked about it so much. We're like, this is the only one that matters. Yeah. And like, this is the only one where I feel like the love is real. And Jerry already got a divorce with Teresa. Despite saying they were 100% committed to making it work, different priorities led to a difference in location. The thing that strikes me the most is our conversations. It's been how dedicated both of our lives are to our families. So we look at these conversations and we both think it's best for the happiness of each other to live apart. Turner and Nice confirmed they're still very much in love. Okay, despite the decision to end their marriage, okay. They also maintained it wasn't pressure from the public after their love story. Uh, Subquescent, lavish, televised wedding. I can't even read. I still love this person. There's no doubt in my mind. I'm still in love with her. I root for her every day. I still love him. You know what's, you know what's, you know why? Uh, I never, I never thought he picked the right one. That's what you said. I said that from the beginning. My favorite lady got booted off. She was in it for the long haul. They would have. Which one was it? I don't remember her name. This was That's a lot. Well, this is what I'm saying. Short term memory loss. Yeah. I she mean, was this blonde. was in the summer. This was in the summer. Um, the blonde lady. The blonde lady that had a good Come heart. On, she had a great off. accent. I don't even know what to Google. The blonde lady from the Blonde lady from the Gas Law. Blonde lady. Gold. Dawn, maybe? Golden Bachelor. You never see any more Dawns. Oh, no. yep. Got my girl. Uh, visit. She was smoking hot, too. Wow. <laughs> Dude, smoking hot. How hot? Let me show you. Wait, let me where'd she go? They were all smoking hot. Ah, Ellen. Ellen, seventy one. Uh, Ready to see seventy one year old Ellen? Boom, smoking hot. Oh, smoke show, Ellie. She was hilarious. She was in love. She was ready for it. She Damn. lived in Florida. She was a retired teacher. Damn. I just knew, you know, I knew Teresa was too committed to her family. I knew that. Uh, I just knew it wasn't the right one. That's too bad. And I just it hates that it has ended two two divorces. I, I would have loved to see them continue on with more love. Me too. Too bad. I'm sorry. Or maybe the golden you think the golden bachelor would do a golden bachelorette next time? They should. Yeah. A lot of handsome fellas. Wow. A lot of handsome fellas coming in. I like that. With their hats wide open. Yep. Imagine seeing a handsome fella that's elderly and a douchebag. There's got to be one. Got to be, right? That'll be interesting. Like an old, an old fuck that like never, maybe never married and still in bachelor zone. And he's like, I got to settle down. Finally, I'm 75. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, he's always wanted to be famous like George yeah. Stamos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love George Stamos. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. Quick commercial break for Third Love. Brianna, I got my Third Love bra. They sent it right to me because they're the sweetest in the world. I was staring at your boobs. Is it on right now? It's definitely on. It looks pretty good. It's on and ready to go. Listen, Brianna, it's the best for me personally because I got big boobs. Huge. All right? And it's, it's full coverage. Huge. Full coverage for G is a happy day for Huge B. Huge boobs. Because they look good, huh? Huge boobs. Right? Huge. How do you like yours? Huge. My boobs? I like them tight. Your Third Love bra. Oh, dude, it's perfect. I got, I got three of them, actually. Third Love. Ah, mm-hmm. really. and they're also com- they're also comfy, but they're not. You know when you get a comfy bra and they kind of look ugly like granny bras. Yes, they don't do that. No, no, these are nice and comfortable. Yeah, it's cool. So Third Love is here to solve your bra blums because if you haven't heard, Third Love bras are both sexy and comfortable, just like you said, Bay. Exactly, Jay. just like you said. Made from premium materials and designed at their headquarters in San Francisco, they're bringing their tried and true West Coast level support to all the East Coast girls. No, seriously. Mm-hmm. LOL. Okay. 
Yeah, we're on East Coast right now. Let's get this shit. Third Love puts every style through hours of wear testing on real women, including themselves, before it's given the boob stamp of approval. From double A to H cup and even invented half cups, their virtual fitting room will help you find your perfect fit fast. 2024 is already way too wild to worry about your problems, and Third Love's got you covered. Comfort and support are guaranteed. It's time to get your problems solved. Visit thirdlove.com and get $15 off your order with code PODCAST15. Let's get this shit. Let's get these boobs right. We got an acting challenge. Do we have that in us? I think we could do it. All right. Let's make this worthwhile. All right. We're going to, for the last portion of the podcast, we're going to go into uh, the acting challenge. Okay. Uh, We didn't come up with these and we're learning them right on the spot. So we'll see how this goes. All right. Uh, I'll, want me to read the first one? Yeah. Are we both doing it or it's like I read it, you do it? Uh, yeah, I think read it to I'll it. read it to you? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to read it and Grace is going to do it. Acting challenge. You're on Love is Blind. You get engaged. You are walking out and see your husband for the first time, but he is not at all what he looks like. Said he looks like. Oh, wow. I can't believe I'm about to meet my guy. I'm thrilled. I'm honored. I'm so excited. Three, two, one. <gasps> It's me. I'm really glad anyways. I really need this. I need this really bad. It doesn't matter. I think you're... I'm, I'm sure you have... I, I know would, I said I looked like Chris Hemsworth. Who do I look like? You look more like the Grinch not that right. stole Christmas. You still want it? That's all right. We're just going to shave you back. We're just going to shave you back and it's going to be no problem for G. All right? <laughs> all right. All right. So that was easy. That was good. Yeah. All right. Um, all right. You're a senior citizen at the Apple store. Trying to learn to use an iPhone, and the other is a worker at the Genius Bar. Oh, I'm coming up to you. All right. I'll be the worker. All right. All right. Hey, hey, little pretty young thing. Hello, sir. How are you? Hi, little pretty young thing. Uh, It's a lot of cleavage. Are we doing one of these? One of these. I would like to... My young daughter gave me this. Okay. But I got these boobies all stuck on there. I would like you to get the boobies off so my wife doesn't see the boobies. (laughs) Did you just... Are you serious? <laughs> are we going to tell them what just happened? <laughs> nope. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> you think they picked that up on the mic? <laughs> Probably. Grace just had a couple toots. <laughs> Incredibly embarrassed. What, you made one slight move? <laughs> Incredibly embarrassed. <laughs> Couple I'm slight moves. Incredibly embarrassed. <laughs> uh, we don't have our usual producer here, so that was awkward. Um, all right. Well, so you're gonna have to you're gonna have to cross spike gonna this. Yeah, you're gonna have to cross spike this from an audio. Thank all right. You. Thank you so much. All right. Okay. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> all right. Okay. Uh, action uh, challenge. Race. Uh, all right. One of you finds out that the other one is a cannibal. Hey, buddy. <laughs> hey, buddy, what is that? I'm starving. Are you sure? I'm sure I'm starving. I, I know it. I, I feel know it in my I, tummy. I know, but are you sure you want this? Are you sure you want to know what it is? Yeah, of course. What is it, like a uh, McRib or something? It's Johnny McDonald's rib. Oh, wow. Yeah. Like Th- three houses like his, down. Like his, like his favorite recipe? Or? No. Uh, like the, the, the Mac special? What the special talking? sauce. What kind of what? human sauce? What do you mean? You mean Cuban? I don't like Cuba. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I'm acting. <laughs> this is a, this is a you human. You just look petrified. <laughs> <laughs> you just look so petrified. <laughs> this is a human rib. What are you? I'm a cannibal. <laughs> what do you? What do you expect from me? I expect you to not eat people. I thought you were my best friend. You're not gonna support me through this. I mean, how good is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. I became a cannibal too. <laughs> this is so stupid. This is so stupid. I wish we were better. Oh, no. uh, all right. Uh, you're a married couple and you're doing a gender reveal, and one of you is pissed that it isn't the gender that you wanted. Okay. All right. All right. Ready? Let's, let's pop these things okay. open. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Uh, ah, it's a girl. No, the fuck it's not. What do you mean? It's pink. We're going to have to try again. What do you mean? We're gonna have to, uh, nope. 
I, I didn't sign up for girl shit. You said no matter what, you're going to love this kid. I, I can't stand. Hey, guys. <laughs> Hello. Hey, guys. How we doing? <laughs> Mwah. Hello. We're just acting. We're just acting. Is there a socks game Let's get on? back to this. <laughs> yeah, of course there is. It's Marathon Monday. Oh, wow. And you would know that if we were having a boy. Ah. Oh. What do we do with the one that's a girl inside me? We got to get rid of it. I'm eight months. What? She said something about St. Patty's Day or something. I thought it was something about Thursday. I'm trying, s- to, I'm trying to win an Oscar here. <sighs> what are we going to do? You get an abortion. <laughs> <laughs> I'm eight months, Ricky. I want this girl. I don't know how the female anatomy works. That's why I'm having a boy. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I don't want to. Ha- I w- actually want this girl. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have this girl with or without you, Rick. Fuck you. I'm getting pregnant. <laughs> right, I'm going to have how, a boy on my own. How was, who are you going to get pregnant? First male boy from a boy. <laughs> All right, you know, Ricky, this is a good, we're not even married. I met you eight months ago. I don't want this anymore. Uh, <laughs> sounds like you got to move out of my mother's house. You got to go. You're tweaking. Seems like I could live in the garage. All right. You Seems t- like there could be a reasonable switch here. <laughs> All right, I have the girl. You take the garage. I like where you're at. Hey, congratulations. <laughs> Yeah, woohoo! The guy just won the marathon. And he's all by himself. What's up with that? He didn't win it. You win. You win. <laughs> when you if you do the marathon, you win. Well, it's a win, of course. It's a win. It's a win. It's of course it's a win. Do you think a woman won? No, they actually divided by men and women. That's not fair. I yeah, guess. I guess. I, yeah, you have to have a shorter. You actually have, you have to have a you have a longer window to qualify for women than you do as men. Who do you think won? Um, it's usually someone from out of state. <laughs> All right, you it is. To, I know. <laughs> I'm not just making that up. I know it's every time. It usually is. Okay. Do you want to do um another act? Is that Caitlin Clark? Do you want to do another acting? Thing? Yeah, of course. <laughs> All right, cool. Because that last one was so good. What's up, man? How we doing? Should we just have him on? <laughs> uh no, absolutely not. He's tweaking. <laughs> he's tweaking big time. <laughs> he's tweaking big time, and he's okay. not even a real life tweaker. No, he's just tweaking. Who wouldn't tweet when you see these two badasses? You guys enjoying yourselves? I wonder what they think we're talking about. Yeah, dude, seriously. I, I mean, with the, the Cartoon Network behind us, yeah. it couldn't be much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's good stuff. Oh, God. Yeah. It's we got to get some tweakers on this podcast. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about yeah. this. Listen, guys, uh, you know, when it rains, it pours. And this week, it poured, and it rained. And it, and it you know what? There's basically a tsunami at my house. So Yeah. It's, um... um this is me putting on a smile, but it's it's hot, all right? Sometimes it, is. it doesn't always hit. Sometimes you know it doesn't always hit. You know what's stinky? What? About These, like, the fart I did? Oh, that was pretty crazy. That was bizarre, that right? Was We're just going to talk about it? <laughs> that was hilarious. That was nuts. Yeah, she moved that ass one inch, and she let out a big stinky. <laughs> did that again? <laughs> one inch. <laughs> that was funny. She looked up one inch, and it was just a little stinky. And then it was a double time stinky, too. Yeah. Uh, it actually didn't stink. Good. It was Good. just air. Good. It was just there, but I was, was going to say what, what sucks about, um, there's only, this is the best job in the whole entire world, but the only thing that is bad about it is when it rains, it pours and you, you can't just, um, like go to your, your job and like sit at your desk and not talk to anyone. Mm-hmm. You have to entertain. Yeah. Which I, is just the only stinky part about it when you're sad and it's like, oh man, I don't really know if I got it. Yeah. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying here real good. Uh, Quite literally a personality hire. <laughs> yeah. Personality hire. Let's get oh. it. <laughs> literally personality hires. Uh-huh. I know. It's kind of wild. I, I wonder if there's any other job. Well, I guess just famous people. Like you get hired for your person. No, that's acting. You're just good for your talent. Well, when we were, when we were, like when I graduated, if I were to graduate college, I was banking on being a personality hire. I just wanted to win them in the interview mm. and then just hope to God they'll just let me stay for being fun. Yeah. <laughs> That was, like, my plan. I guess that's true, though. I feel like personality helps in any job interview. Yeah. If you're likable. Yeah, of course. If you go in with a bad demeanor. And, and then, like, you know, just really blow them away in a special way. Mm. Not, in a, not in a negative way, of course. Not in a negative way. Here's how to get a job. What you want to do, you're going to go in there, right? You're going to look the guy in the eye, or a woman, of course, mm-hmm. or, or he, she, or they. You're going to look them in the eye. You're going to wink once. You're going to wink twice, and you double blink. Lift that's the how you know, up. that's how they get to know. And you lift the cheek up? That you're sane. What? Then you lift your cheek up? Oh, let me get this. <laughs> let me get this. All right. Mm-hmm. And next, what you're going to do is you're, gonna, you're just going to grab both their elbows when they go in for a shake. That's, that, that inserts dominance, but it also tells you 
that you're not fucking around. And then once you grab your elbows, what I always do when I go to job interviews is after I double go for the double <laughs> shake, but I grab their elbows, I lay my head on their chest <laughs> and I say, do you hear that? They say, what? Yeah. They hear that heartbeat? Yeah. They say, no, you hear my heartbeat? They <laughs> yeah. Said, yeah. You're not going to hear it without me anymore. You need me for yeah. this heartbeat. If you want that heart to keep pumping, mm-hmm. you keep that. You keep my head on this <laughs> chest. You keep this company afloat. Yep. And we keep this stock up. Yep. You need me. And that's how I got hired. And then you walk away. You never make eye contact once. No. No. Because you're just always blinking. Because <laughs> you're tweaking. You're tweaking so hard. <laughs> and then it's, it's honestly, it's like a, it's a, a, a guilty hire. It's like, oh, I feel bad. A sympathy hire. Yeah, no, of It's course. like, and also, I feel like there's a lot of quotas people have to hit. Mm-hmm. You got to hire everyone from every demographic. So it's like you hire, hire the tweakers. Yeah. And then it's us. Got to have a tweaker in the band. Got to have a tweaker in the band. Because if you don't have a tweaker in the band, mm-hmm. how are you going to look at everyone else and be like, they're all right? <laughs> right? Yeah. You got to base it off of exactly. something. Exactly. There's got to be a tweaker to be like, ah, oh, Jim's good. Yeah. Because he could be like Grace and Bree. Yeah. It could tweak. be tweaking. Yeah. <laughs> but so. they keep my heart beating. Yeah. And sympathy hires. Sympathy hires really is what we're talking we about. We personality hires are sympathy hires. Yeah, that's an absolute. I was definitely a sympathy hire. We Dave, s- David found out that I was working for free. Mm-hmm. And he said, oh, shit, I feel bad about that. <laughs> Let's get her full time. That's the best sympathy hire in the world. I mean, not too bad. Yeah, it's pretty good. Thank you, Big Cat. Thank you, Big Cat. Thank you, Big Cat. Big Cat. Big Cat went and told him. Big Cat went I, and told him. Because I told Big I said, but Big Cat, you going to see, you're gonna go see Big D this weekend? <laughs> and he was like, we have never talked, but let's do this. Oh, let's go. And he, <laughs> he said, yes, I will. Why? I go, can you tell him I haven't been hired yet? <laughs> And he said, oh, absolutely. I actually knew. also didn't know that either. He knew this. And he uh, forgot. Uh, I'm like, hey. He's busy. He is really busy. He's busy, but now we're going to go to the Nantucket house. He doesn't me. want us there, Jace. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I can't handle that news right now. <laughs> I got to go somewhere this summer. <laughs> I got to go somewhere this summer. It's got, the only option is days. <laughs> I've never been to Nantucket, Dave. Seriously, Dave. We've never even been to Cisco. I've never been to Not Nantucket. the one in Boston, not the one in Nantucket. They have one in Nantucket? That's the OG. No shit. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't know that. I'm not rich like that. Straight up. I just have to read about it. Ah, oh, dude. I know. So fuck Martha's Vineyard. We need to go to Nantucket. Dead ass. Wow. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll get we'll get it. I think yeah. that's easy to get into. He likes us. Yeah. He, he decently likes us. Yeah. I think. And we can watch Miss Peach while, him- while he walks around the beach. Oh, yeah, but he wants her there. Well, no, he needs a break sometimes. Yeah, of course. Of it's course. like any father needs a break. Yeah. Yeah. So he just needs, he needs one. Well, let him let loose. Exactly. He can go drink his Nunas. Oh, yeah. Not have to worry about peaches running around. Of course. We'll take peaches. He'll drink his Nunas. Yep. We'll drink How's our pirate water. How's he going to get the Nunas? He's going to have to get uh, helicopter cargo ship. ships. I know. <sighs> oh, well, no. We'll bring the Nunas, D. That's an absolute. Easy. We'll come on the cargo ships. We'll bring a leash. Mm-hmm. We'll bring the Nunas. We'll bring the vibes. Yeah, so we're coming in. We're coming in hot. All right, guys, quick commercial break for Ball and Branch. So if you've been following the famous Miss Peaches, we actually just talked about her. We actually just said we're going to go to, I uh, almost said Connecticut, and Nantucket and take care of her. Mm-hmm. You know that she's been living her happiest life since being rescued, and she's being spoiled with only the best. So the best gift she's received yet, she told us, she told the internet, according to her favorite human, DP, Dave, shout out DP, is Bowl and Branch sheets, okay? Also, we got a bunch of Bowl and Branch sheets. I don't know if you put them on yet. I put them on. Oh, my God. Like butter. Sh- oh, my God. So good. And they're, like, they're cute. They're, oh my god, yes. I they, like they, them. They're sleek. They're sleek. So Bowl and Branch's signature seats are the perfect way to uh, start upgrading your sleep. They're made with the finest 100% organic cotton and are completely free from toxins, which is huge. They feel buttery soft yet super breathable, so they're perfect for the warm months ahead. Gotta love that. Nothing. Li- there's nothing like a bed when you get into it, and it's like temperature controlled. When it's hot, dude, I can't sleep. I can't do it. So uh, they feel buttery soft, super breathable, like I said, and they're loved by millions of sleepers with over 11,000 five-star reviews, and they have a 30-night worry-free guarantee, so you can wash style and sleep in their sheets for an entire month and if you don't love them you can send them right back which is amazing so they actually they really believe in themselves mm-hmm. these people you get them you're going to try them you're not going to want to send them back so sleep better with the softest most breathable bedding uh bowl and branch during their best discount of the entire season see for yourself why bowl and branch sheets were famous miss peaches favorite gift of the uh, of the night at bowl and with promo code plan brief for 20 percent off that's right 20 percent off your first set of sheets plus free shipping when you use como promo code plan brie at bowl and branch.com that's bowl and branch b-o-l-l-a-n-d branch Dot com promo code plan Brie, exclusion apply so see uh website for details let's get back to the show got any uh, birthdays coming up uh nope mine june 17th shout that's out that's true that's pretty much the closest thing summer's almost here actually i've yeah. been saying it since october 
right around the corner. Yeah, I was right. <laughs> I was right. It's it's gotta right. be coming sometime. It really is almost here. And I'm thrilled. The warm weather actually does get me tweaking. I can't wait to get back to New York and run around the city. Yeah, I know. It's, this is the perfect time right now. It's gonna be good stuff. It's the perfect time to get up, get up, and get out there. But we gotta know? go get our NASCAR jackets. Yeah. We're going to go to NASCAR, and then we're going to come back, and we're going to have ourselves a day. And I'm sorry that this one stunk. Yeah, we're uh, really tweaking, so. Yeah. We'll be back in the stew tomorrow and Wednesday. We'll be back to normal. We got some silly gooses coming through, so. Shout out to uh, p- uh, episodes with some guests. Yeah. Yeah. So. So pretty much that's probably all we have. Yeah, enjoy yourselves. <laughs> and uh, Happy Marathon Monday, even though it's Tuesday now that you're listening. And Patriots Day is only in Massachusetts, so I hope you had a good one. And, Everyone uh, gets Patriots Day off, you know? Yeah, yeah. Why? Oh, I gotta go do my taxes. I gotta go. Oh, okay. I really gotta go. Okay. I gotta go do my taxes. Uh, seriously. You, you really do before gotta go do my go taxes. To jail. Yeah. yeah. All right, we're gonna go do our taxes. Uh, bye, guys. 